Good morning, gamers. I hope you're enjoying the holiday season. Again, I want to thank everyone who participated in the Yule Building Challenge. Uh, it means the world to me that you guys would come and hang out with the community. I had a lot of fun. You guys are absolutely incredible and talented. And if you haven't already, check out all of the photos and the VOD that'll be up on my Twitch and my Instagram and Twitter. Before we get started, if you're new here, make sure to subscribe and turn on that notification bell. But today we're going to be trying something a little bit different. I'm going to be attempting the No Mistakes Build Challenge in Valheim today. Basically, I'm going to attempt to build something, but whenever I lay an item down, I am not allowed to delete anything which is going to be super hard for me because i am a trial and error type person i like to put out like a design and then make little tweaks here and there kind of thing but none of that today okay so i have leveled out uh this part of the mountain and i'm going to be building like a Yule cabin getaway type thing up here. But remember, anything I put down, I cannot delete. So I will be building this in debug mode. A quick reminder on how to do that. Uh, you go into your cheats menu, type dev commands in, and then you type debug mode. And then if you hit B on your keyboard, it will turn on no placement cost, which allows you to build without needing resources. I want like the hearth to be the center of this build, so I think it'll be beneficial for me if I just start with that and just work my way out around it. I don't... Ah! Okay, here we go, here we go, here we go! And now there's no turning back. So next, I think I'm going to put in some of the flooring. Okay, so we're just going to build around here. I've got to be super careful. Oh, that's right. Okay. Um, uh, um, I hate how this game does that. Uh, maybe. Why is it a half? <sighs> okay, so maybe we'll just put those along there. Oh, I hate it already. I can't. I don't know what to do. Okay, I have an idea. What if along this side we put like a little bump out. So I'm just gonna flatten the ground a little bit more for a oven. So put that there. And then I'm thinking I'm gonna line the whole thing with beams anyway. Like this. I guess I have no choice now. Guess we're lining it. What did I do? Why does it look so bad? Nah, it's gonna be fine. I'm like that. Okay. There we go. We have our main shape now. Let's put down some fires. Because we need like a cauldron and some of these. Okay, so we've got the main outline. I think I'm gonna do the walls next. I will admit I am being more careful than I usually am. Uh, most of the time I'm more haphazard about my placement of things, but I'm trying to be very meticulous. I'm gonna snap it to these. I'm hoping that since I'm using uh, the logs instead of the holes, it'll look better. Okay, cute. Okay, this back one, let's do two big windows. So two small windows in the back, I mean. Oh no, I snapped it to the wrong pole. How did that happen? Okay, wait, wait, I'm just gonna like stick it another one. 
Oh, how did I do that? It like snapped to the pole down there. Well, there we go. Okay, so we've got some windows. We'll fill in this side. I didn't put in a back door. Okay, apparently there's only one way in and out of this place, which is fine. Uh, I kind of want to do like a little entryway. This is probably going to be a mistake. Ooh. I was very confident a bit ago, and now I am no longer confident. Okay, I'm going to do it. I'm committing. Are you happy? Okay, and then I'm going to snap it to the bottom. So it goes all the way to the ground. That way this place will be fully supported. Okay. Yeah. Cute. And then we'll do a little roof like that. Uh, what kind of roof? Do we want to do a black, uh, I mean a, a dark wood or the thatch one? Because typically I would try out like both and then put on the one that I like better. But uh, I don't have that luxury <laughs> okay first one up I've seen like covers that go like that so it sends out the smoke backwards which I really like I think I want to do that I just don't know where to make it snap is the problem I have an idea it's gonna go Probably horribly wrong. But it is an idea to at least help it snap to something. So this way you can still have access to them and they're not going to get smoked out. Hopefully. Fingers crossed. But let's finish doing the roof next. No major mistakes yet though. I mean the hearth was pretty bad because I keep forgetting that it's a weird set but I gotta be super careful with this roof look at it isn't it cute okay so you come in this way and yeah so we'll have that sticking through right here but I don't think it'll be a huge problem oh no wait the corner how do I do the corner <gasps> oh no what have I done that side's fine that side looks great it's this one that I'm worried about I think I want to do it like that. Oh, crap. Yep. I'm doing it like that. Just don't don't look at that corner, okay? Just just don't don't look at it. I can't make it snap because of the other roof piece. No. This is tragic. I have to free place it. I'll pretend I did it on purpose, okay? Like, oh yeah, I definitely meant to make the roof look like that. Definitely. Okay. Ta-da! <laughs> Roof is up! Okay, and I'm just I'm just gonna pretend that that's a vent. I'm so disappointed and saddened by this. Uh, yeah. I'm gonna do that to make it look more purposeful, you know? Like, you just, just gotta add, you know? Can't take away, just add it so it looks like you did it on purpose. Pro tip. Okay, let's start decorating the inside. I would like to make this place uh, functional, if I can. So firstly, I think over here we need just an absolute massive bed. Yep. I mean, only one person sits in it and sleeps in that bed anyway. Uh, and then we'll do a little side table right there. Oh, sweet. We've got enough room for it. Heck yeah. Oh, yeah, perfect place to hang the spice rack from. It's so busy over here. <gasps> Wait, no! No! <laughs> I'm an idiot! <gasps> no! I just wanted to put that in the corner. Oh, I forgot that I can't delete anything. And now I just have a random cauldron in the middle of my floor. Oh, oh, this is too embarrassing. Oh, I can't. I can't even. Oh, that was embarrassing. Okay. What, what do I do? How do I, how do I fix this? How do I fix that? Furniture. We could hang up 
some banners around it. Maybe, maybe then you won't see how horrible it is. Okay, what if I turned it into a maypole? What if I just put a random maypole? Right? Hear me out. Maypole. I'm an idiot. Why am I doing this? No. In my sad attempt to hide the cauldron, I have now resorted to putting down presents and a maypole in the middle of my house. Probably shouldn't have a present right next to the fire, but you know, who am I to judge? I don't even want to go outside to see how trash it looks. Hey, okay, you know what? It is only sticking through a tiny, tiny bit. So, could have been a lot worse. I wanted to add a Christmas tree, so that's what I get. <laughs> okay, I want to put down like one of these. I actually did want to have a fermenter in here. Sure, why not? It already looks trash. <laughs> Let's put a little more furniture down though. It's so cluttered in here now. I mean, we've got a pretty high comfort though, so that's at least something. And since we're going with the theme of Christmas, I'm gonna put up some banners behind this chair. I can't go in there. See? This place doesn't even have any storage, so maybe I'll put down like a chest in front of the window. Bam, storage. We'll do a two little personal chest. That's what I like to do since they're not too big. Uh, yeah, I think that's, I think I did it. Okay, let's do a tour of my no mistakes mountain cabin. So here on the outside, we've got a couple adornments. We've got the wolf on the front and the ravens on either side. Don't look too closely at the roof. Come inside and you're instantly greeted by a gigantic brazier and uh, a random maple with a Christmas tree and some presents. Over here we've got the kitchen with our spice rack, some cooking stuff. Over here is like the crafting area. We've got a fermenter, a workbench. Over here we've got the bed and a little sitting area and the only place to store anything and there you have it this is my attempt at a no mistakes build uh obviously didn't go as well as i would have hoped if you do attempt this challenge please tag me i would love to see it as always, if you enjoyed this video, please give it a like. Comment down below how well you think I did and if you think you can do any better. If you'd like to see my actual building skills, you can check me out on Twitch at Mav of All Trades. There I build at least once a week, working on some super big projects. So I hope to see you there. Thanks so much for tuning in. Bye.